Okay, I'm gonna. I've got. Well, first I've got Delaney and Bonnie uh, on tour with Eric Clapton playing in the background. Um, great album. I'm. Ta I'm gonna talk about some of the some of the great music books that I've read. Uh, there's stuff, you know, books about music and stuff. And I'll, I'll start with the one I'm reading right now, uh, called Bound for Glory by Woody Guthrie. Uh, very old book. Um, uh, yeah, it's original published. It's copyright 1943. I mean, uh, I heard about this book through Bob Dylan, obviously. Um, it's the same place, you know. I mean, obviously, everybody... If you're from America, you've heard, you know, you've been singing This Land is Your Land since kindergarten. Uh, but this, it's a really interesting book because the way he, the way he writes is, I'm assuming, is exactly how he, re how he talks. You know, I mean, he, he just, like, uh, what would I just see right there? Uh, Clara said, Grandma. Grandma apostrophe D, uh, take me with her to trade eggs. A little ego. She's big enough. B I G G A apostrophe N U F F big en big enough. You know, and I just J E S S I just wanted to do that. Or you know, it's just funny. Like how it's just it's just funny stuff. The guy. uh he tells a great story, though, man. I'm glad I'm reading this. I'm glad I found this because it's just it's just great, man. He's just a great American musician. Uh, this isn't a book. Well, it's a book, but it's not like a... This is actually something I got a couple... Uh, uh, no, this past this past Christmas, I got a... Uh, every year, you know, we in, in, in our stockings, we get, a, we get like a gift card and some stuff from some place and, and my brother will get like a, you know an Abercrombie gift card and I'll usually get like a Guitar Center gift card or something uh, and uh, I had some extra money left over and so I bought the Beatles Complete Scores which is every single song they've ever recorded all the sheet music for it every every bit of the sheet music for it like and it's awesome because you can you, it's not necessarily you know you can you can do everything from completely rearranging every single song to exactly how the the record sounds or you can just listen to the chord play the chords and play it at, you know play it around a, a campfire which is awesome i think it's it's really really good really really good stuff i'm not, I'm not going to try to put that in there right now I'll put that over here where do we get one from here actually oh okay here we go this is, uh, my brother got me this a while back. It's Bob Dylan, Essential Interviews. Pretty cool stuff. Got all different kinds of interviews and stuff. That he, tons of different interviews. This is, uh, John Lennon in his own words. Just a bunch of different quotes and stuff on different things, like, you know, himself, drugs, uh, life, the Beatles, post-Beatles, Yoko, all specific stuff. This is, a. Uh, a biography of John Lennon, a great biography by Larry Kane, who was actually, he actually spent a lot of time with the Beatles in the 60s, like, you know, interviewed him a lot, and became kind of good friends with John, and that's sort of how he knows his story. This is one of my favorites right here, Eric Clapton, this is, is his autobiography, awesome, awesome, awesome book. The guy, you know, I always thought, oh, you know, yeah, he he plays blues and stuff, but you know, what's he been through? You know, because I'm kind of, I fancy myself a, a blues purist, kind of like Eric. Uh, now that I, now I know that, and uh, man, some of the shit that guy's been through. Oh, I, I I feel so bad for him, but you know, he's just a great guy. Uh, puts on a great concert too. This is Patty Boyd, her her autobiography called Wonderful Tonight. Uh, she was married to George Harrison and Eric Clapton. Um, had lots of songs like uh, like the Beatles something, uh, Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight, and obviously the, the the most famous song about Eric Clapton being in love with her and not being able to be with her because she was married to George uh, Layla from the uh, Derek and the Dominoes Layla and other sort of love songs, one of my favorite albums. This is uh, a biography of Jimi Hendrix, which is pretty awesome. I, I read this a, wa a couple years ago, and I just loved it. Ah, absolutely awesome.
great book, great life. Uh, sad that it was cut short, but um, you know, there's different. There's stuff like like when he got in when he was in the military, because he uh, he st he got caught stealing a car when he was young, and the judge said you can either you know you can either go to you know friggin' prison or or you can join the military, and he joined the military. He always wanted to be uh, you know in the 101st Airborne Division, and and he he made it. And uh, there's a lot of mystery to. Uh, how he got out of the military, though. Um, there's the whole myth about um, uh, that he broke his leg on a jump, on a parachute jump. Uh, there's one that he went AWOL and, and uh, eventually became famous and then paid off, his, you know, paid off the government to let him, you know, not go to jail or whatever. And then uh, in this book, in this book particularly, that he, they say that he um, that he lied and said he was gay. And, you know, back in the military, and it's probably the same way now, like, if you're gay, you know, you'll get, you know, you'll get the shit beat out of you by your, by your other, you know, you know, fellow Marines or, you know, Army people or whatever, you know, branch of the military you're in. Very, very cool. Sad life, uh, but also an exciting life, because his, his whole first part of his life, because, I mean, obviously half of he was, what, 27 when he died, so half of his life was you know, when he was, you know, 13, or, you know, however old, and so his first half of his life was, was pretty sad, actually, he, you know, his mom died, his, mo his mom was an alcoholic, and she couldn't take care of him, and his dad was, I don't want to say abusive, because he wasn't really abusive, but he just was kind of a old, you know, old school, sort of like, you're going to do exactly what I tell you, or I'm going to go get a switch and smack you with it, um, uh, he wouldn't let Jimmy and Leon, Jimmy's brother, go to their mother's funeral because uh, they didn't have a ride and he wouldn't take them. This is uh, interesting, actually. This is I bought this, started reading it, and quit because I heard that Keith was writing his autobiography. So, I mean, why read something written by somebody that doesn't really know any, you know, doesn't know the truth about these stories, then read the story that, of the actual man who lived it. And did I tell you, this guy, you know, it says right here, this is, this is the life, believe it or not, I haven't forgotten any of it. Thanks and praises, Keith Richards. Pretty cool. You know, good man, he, the guy wrote some great songs. And this thing, as you can see, is, like, thicker than the Bible got a lot of a lot of cool things and, I, and I'm big on like stuff like photos and stuff I'm big I'm big in that kind of stuff and there's there's two different sections of photos in this book it's really cool um these over here are, are, are just a couple of magazines that I got you know like the life remembering John Lennon I'm a big John Lennon fan and as I say I'm big on photos and stuff and there's just some really really rare photos there's some photos that everybody's seen before but there's also some really rare photos that, that I've, I've never seen before that are that are awesome, him and Cynthia, and, and Julian, and just just cool stuff. Um, I also have another one, like another one of those Life magazines for Jackie uh, Jackie Kennedy. I like those magazines. Um, this is a recent. I am a, I've been a subscriber to Rolling Stone for the past couple of years. I think since 2008. So that whole stack of magazines right there is my Rolling Stone collection. Um, I have pictures. I took them out a couple days ago, actually, and I spread them across my entire floor and took some photos of it. And I, I don't know if I'll be able to share, share that on YouTube, but um, this is this. If you're a subscriber, you don't get the special edition things like this. And this is the 100 Greatest Beatles songs, uh, which is pretty cool. I, I, I'm usually kind of biased against these lists just because I think, oh, why didn't you mention the, some of these songs that aren't so well known and whatnot? Like, it's funny that they did that. Hold on, I'm reaching down here to get... There we go. This right here, the 70 Greatest Dylan Song. That wasn't a special edition one. This is actually a really recent one. Let me get out of the light. This is actually a really recent, recent issue. And um, I actually wrote something on Facebook about this because I was actually quite disappointed in the list. They did this for Bobby's 70th birthday and... Uh, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's it's I, the thing that I liked about it actually, and the thing I really liked about the Beatles one more than the list because I know the list is you know bullshit because it's written by a bunch of people that you know that don't know all of his music. I mean, I'm not saying I know all of his music, but I could have made a better list than this. <laughs> 
I think I could say that. Um, I like reading the the things that 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 they, that they wrote about them. Interesting little things. Like I mentioned in my uh, in my Dylan thing, uh, my Dylan showing my Dylan record collection about um, the two Ramona thing that Jackson Brown wrote. I really like that a lot. What he wrote, very 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 cool stuff. But yeah, that's uh, some books that if you get a chance you should read. I can't say I've read this one because, like I said, but that one right there is. If you want to hear a, a, a story, that's that's a story right there. And I've got you know, well, they just opened up a secondhand store like kind of by, like near my neighborhood, like right down this a walking distance and so I can walk over there and you know and, and they sell uh, like magazines for 30 cents and uh, uh, paperback books for 50 cents and hardback books for a dollar all of them no matter what it is and so I, I always I go over there and I've picked up a couple of books my mom and I we will go over there and, and pick some stuff out and um, those those National Geographic magazines actually I bought all of those. There's 17 of them, and I got them for like four bucks or something like that, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I, that's. I, I don't think I got. Actually, I know for a fact I didn't get any of these books from there. But but there's still you know secondhand shops for books. Or, that's probably where I'll buy my books from now on. Or Amazon. Amazon is actually where most of these books came from, just because. You can get a brand new book for dirt cheap. I bought a... Oh, actually, where's that book at? Oh, oh, hold on. I have another book. Hold on one second. Let me set the camera down. This book right here. David Crosby. I was going to say, just was thinking about Amazon, and, it, and I bought this book for one penny on Amazon. It was literally one cent. You know, so it's kind of like that kind of stuff. Interesting. This is his sort of second half of his life. Like, it starts when he's getting his, uh, I don't know if he, I think he had a liver transplant. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it was a liver because he was, you know, freebasing cocaine when he was younger and became a complete junkie. But, yeah, those are, that's, that's my music books. Thanks for watching.